Today is International Women's Day and it's the start of showcasing the finalists of our Remarkable Women of the Upper Peninsula contest. Every Tuesday during our 6 and 10 o'clock newscast this month, you'll meet a new finalist. Tonight we tell you why Pam Barman is a remarkable woman. I like that she really helps us out a lot. She really takes the charge and she really works hard to get us everything we need, get everything set up and she really just she really helps out. Special Olympics athlete Julie Johnson is talking about Pam Barman, area director for Special Olympics Area 36, which serves Alger, Berga, Houghton, Keweenaw, and Marquette counties. Mark, set, go! My daughter is a Special Olympic athlete, and um, just uh, that, that's what the initial involvement was. And um, once involved, it was just, it, Special Olympics is a very special family. As area director, her main role is to bring the program to the athletes, including setting up the events, getting the coaches and other volunteers all in place. My main love of Special Olympics is the athletes. You will not be exposed to anyone more appreciative than the Special Olympic athletes. They are very thankful. They are not judgmental. They are just a pleasure to be around. She keeps it moving. She'll come out and she'll say, you know, it's the athletes, it's the parents, it's the volunteers that keep it going. But it is really her that leads everybody to keep it going. And everyone enjoys themselves while they're there. Um, I know I always have a smile on my face, not just from the athletes, but watching her interact with everybody. Um, she just does a lot for the community as far as Special Olympics goes. Jennifer Johnson is Julie's mom and nominated her for the Remarkable Women of the Upper Peninsula contest. She told me what kind of person it takes to do Pam's job. Very patient, um, very driven, um, and wanting to get things accomplished. Um, I think it's very stressful too. Maybe that's why she laughs a lot. <laughs> But I, I think she's just a very driven person with a very big heart. It, she makes things a lot of fun. It's not really that competitive. We're all here, we're all together, we have fun, we do what we like to do. And yeah, it's just she makes things fun, she makes them better, she actually puts the work into it and things really happen because of her. Special Olympics is just one part of Pam's busy life. My life outside of Special Olympics is um, I currently work for the County of Marquette. I work full time, so my position with Special Olympics is a volunteer position outside of my normal work duties. And then I'm also, uh, we also have a family farm. And like I said, we also have a special needs child. So, so those are those are the things that keep me busy besides Special Olympics. And with all the things she does, it doesn't go unnoticed from these special athletes. Thank you so much, Pam. Love you. You're the best, Pam, and we thank you for everything. Pam is the best. Thank you. I love you. You're the best. And if you want to support Special Olympics, one of their biggest fundraisers is coming up on March 19th. It's the Polar Plunge and will be held at the Up North Lodge in Gwynn. Check-in starts at 11.30 a.m. and the plunge at 1. If you go to plungemi.org and find the Marquette Plunge under locations, you can register to plunge or donate to a plunger. On the list, you'll even find Team Local 3 that's excited to be doing the plunge once again this year.